another huge endorsement for Bernie Sanders. Now I say another because these are all coming from online and real progressive groups. Uh, Hillary Clinton is filled to the rim with uh, endorsements from the establishment, including uh, Attorney General Eric Holder today. Of course, the establishment loves Hillary Clinton. Big shock. They think that that helps her. Why would other politicians endorsing Hillary Clinton help Hillary Clinton? Her number one problem is that she's seen as too much of a politician. But anyway, keep playing politics the same old way, see how that turns out for you. Uh, but Move On does make a difference. If you don't know, Move On is a giant progressive organization, started online, and get a load of this, to originally help Bill Clinton. The whole reason it's called Move On is because during the impeachment proceedings, they uh, said, move on, move on already from this impeachment nonsense. We got it. He, you know, fooled around with an intern, you're doing impeachment, that's insane. That's where MoveOn.org comes from. Now full circle and they're endorsing Hillary Clinton's opponent in the primaries, Bernie Sanders. So let's find out why. We go to the nation. The activist group MoveOn endorsed the Vermont senator after 78.6% of its members backed him uh, last week in an online primary which drew 340,665 votes a greater total than is likely to participate in the February contest in Iowa and New Hampshire. Look, I can't overstate the importance of those two numbers there. 340,000 votes. I know it was online, but that's a hell of a lot of votes. A lot of people saying, yeah, I'm, I feel the burn, I feel the burn, I feel the burn. It's like, it's like a Spartacus moment. I feel the burn. Okay, anyway, uh, then 78.6, that is not a small percentage. He crushed her. See, gee, I wonder where the energy uh, in the progressive base is headed. 78.6 percent. Obviously they're on fire because they felt it. They felt the burn. All right. Now, speaking of which, we go to Ilya Sherman, who's the uh, political action executive director for Move On, and he's going to explain that as well. First of all, this is a massive vote in favor of Bernie Sanders, showing that grassroots progressives across the country are excited and inspired by his message and track record of standing up to big money and corporate interests to reclaim our democracy for the American people. Wonderful. Goes on. Move on members are feeling the burn. We will mobilize aggressively to add our collective people power to the growing movement behind the Sanders campaign, uh, starting with a focus on voter turnout in Iowa and New Hampshire. Oh, see, now this got real. There's a lot of uh, progressive organizations that have calcified in D.C. They think they represent people, but no, they, they also get large donations. They don't have a lot of people on the ground. Move on has a lot of people on the ground. So, oh, Mr. Politician supports Hillary Clinton. Whoop de doo, what's he going to do about it? Who's he going to mobilize? <laughs> Nobody. Now, there are exceptions to that. I think uh, Congressman Clyburn in uh, South Carolina could mobilize some African Americans to support Hillary Clinton. Uh, but overall, the politicians are relatively useless. Now, I get a load of what Move On can do in contrast to that. Move On leaders say they are poised to mobilize thousands of volunteers, make thousands of phone calls to potential voters, and recruit more small dollar donors to support Sanders. Move On's first priority will be turning out its 43,000 members in Iowa and 30,000 members in New Hampshire, the first caucus and primary states where polling shows the candidates running neck and neck. Damn. Now, not all 43,000 are going to come out and vote for uh, Bernie Sanders, and uh, they're not all going to vote, period. Then they're not all going to vote for Bernie Sanders. But still, that is a very large number. And if even if a, a considerable amount of them come out and vote in the numbers that they voted online in favor of Bernie Sanders, could that swing elections in Iowa, New Hampshire, and other places? You betcha. So I think this is giant news. Now, take a look at all the different endorsements that people have gotten, and I'll tell you which ones are relevant and which ones aren't. So we go to Hillary Clinton. She has far more endorsements. She got one from the Brady campaign to prevent gun violence. That happened yesterday. That is a solid endorsement, and, and she earned it. I think she is better on gun control than Bernie Sanders is. She got the League of Conservation Voters Action Fund, the NARAL Pro-Choice America PAC, and the Planned Parenthood Action Fund. Now, these groups are deeply entrenched in Washington, D.C. The Clintons have an enormous power base in Washington, D.C. Do they have a lot of grassroots support? Some do, some don't. 
uh, I would take move on over all of those combined. If I actually want to get voters to show up in states like Iowa and New Hampshire, it's not even a close contest. Now, here are more groups supporting Hillary Clinton. These are mainly unions, or they're all unions. The Service Employees International Union, that's SEIU, that's gigantic. The American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees, the American Federation of Teachers, the National Education Association, the United Food and Commercial Workers. Now, unions are real. They have boots on the ground. Uh, they can make a big difference. Not only do they have a lot of money, but they can get people to go out and get out the vote, mobilize, etc. So uh, that power that Hillary Clinton has is real. Now, uh, some of those unions and small amount of progressive groups have also supported Bernie Sanders. So the National Nurses United going with the Sanders campaign, American Postal Workers Union, well, those guys deliver. Uh, and <laughs> the Communications Workers of America, uh, and they obviously know how to talk to voters, <laughs> and Friends of the Earth Action. Okay, so uh, it'll be an interesting uh, union against union in the primaries. That's going to be wonderful. Now, it's not just move on uh, among the grassroots, net roots uh, that have decided to go in favor of Bernie Sanders. Let me tell you about one other group here, or a couple of groups actually. Uh, in recent online votes by progressive groups, uh, Sanders has won a number of endorsements. When Democracy for America voted in December, the senator won 88 percent, and the group's backing. Earlier in the month, when the Working Families Party members voted online, he won 87.4 percent. And upon hearing that news, Hillary Clinton said, I'm very badly burned. <laughs> okay, guys, we got a race on our hands. Uh, and I've been telling you for the last couple of days, it's real. Bernie Sanders has an, a very good chance of winning, perhaps an excellent chance of winning. If he wins the primary, he has an even better chance of winning the general election. Uh, and groups like Move On, uh, D democracy for America should not be underestimated. And when you are in a Democratic primary, presumably with more progressive voters, and all the grassroots progressive organizations, not the ones sitting in Washington, D.C. on their ass, the grassroots progressive organizations are overwhelmingly on your side, whether it's 78 percent or 88 percent, well, that is a very large indication. We're not talking about a brush fire anymore. We're talking about an inferno. The burn is all around.